Hi, welcome to the education series, Driving Consumer Engagement, Discover Beauty Tech's Marketing Advantage. I'm Adam Gam, uh, the U.S. Chief Marketing Officer for Perfect Core, and I'm here today with Lindsay Calameo, the Principal Beauty Editor from Perfect Core. And later on in the presentation, we'll have a special guest, Jessica Cruel, the Content Director from Allura Magazine. So today we're gonna to talk about driving consumer engagement. And uh, I think a good way to start is sort of defining what digital consumer engagement is. So it really includes all the ways a customer interacts with your business and how you interact with them. It consists of all the digital touch points your customer has with your brand. So that would incorporate things like web or e-commerce, um, anything that's happening digitally within an app, on social media, as well as within search, and then all the digital activities that take place within the physical store environment. And now more than ever, marketers need to engage with customers through entertaining shopping experiences across all omni-channel consumer touch points. So what is the future of shopping? Um, to do this, we really you know, are looking at the consumer shopping behavior that is going on right now. And as the world continues to be more digital and online, and as everybody knows with everything that's happened with COVID and as we start looking at the world post COVID, um, people have really shifted all their activity uh, to online. Um, and online and digital you know, now is a bit of a paradigm shift. There really is no turning back. People who ha have almost completely shifted to online shopping in some form or another. Um, and while digital shopping journey is nothing new, um, there are some major upgrades that are happening right now within the industry. So one of the things that we notice for the future of shopping is that things really need to be more playable and enjoyable. So the mobile experience changed the way consumers interact with digital content. Entertaining content and mutually engage engaging experiences are really, really important. And some of the recent Gartner studies have shown that gamification will be an essential element for brands to drive better customer engagement and loyalty in the future. And AR and AI shopping experiences you know, are proven to bring a joy of discovery and fun interaction into that consumer journey experience. So we'd like to say the future of shopping really is focusing on this era now of shoppertainment. Shopping plus entertainment equals shoppertainment. Um, engaging customers through exciting and entertaining digital experiences that grab the attention of today's shoppers, brands and retailers and media outlets. And they're looking for innovative ways to create an, ex an exciting in-store or digital shopping experience when they're not in store. And there needs to be emotional connections between the brand and the customer. So according to Gallup um, study, companies with engaged customers have a more steady revenue stream and organic growth. And in fact, customers who are fully engaged represent a 23% higher share in profitability, revenue, and relationship growth. So what does this mean for the path to purchase? You know, driving co consumer engagement is all about facilitating, easing, opening, accelerating, and shortening the sales cycle. Um, it really helps to optimize the consumer decision journey. And so you think about this, when somebody's wanting to purchase something, they're kind of going into a consideration state. Uh, they go in then from considering that they want to buy something to evaluating, hopefully then going and buying your, your product or service. And then you get into this idea of enjoying, advocating, and bonding, which can shorten the life's, uh, the sales cycle and create a loyalty loop. And what we really want to do is have engaging experiences that drive the shortening of the, uh, of, of the sales loop and really drive loyalty. And in this era of beauty shop retainment, uh, at Perfect Core, we look to this concept of engagement 360. Basically, engaging consumers in every way possible. Um, and for our company, that means using AI and AR technologies to help people engage this way. So you're delivering interactive digital experiences that the consumers are really, really craving. So engagement 360, think about you know, incorporating augmented reality virtual try-on, um, AI recommendation or AI diagnostic, one-to-many live stream video services, or one-to-one -one, uh, video calling services, which allow you to do things like a beauty advisor consultation call that incorporates AR and AI. And of course, if all of these technologies could be tied into e-commerce, you really then are starting to create a, you know, a great 
digital engaging consumer experience. So driving customer engagement with AI and, and AI technology, you know, we need to transform unengaged beauty shoppers into sticky customers who advocate for your brand. Customer engagement is about attracting and influencing customers in order to retain their attention and drive their participation with your brand. So engagement touch points that spark emotion or set commitments and drive conversion are key. And driving customer engagement again, you know, has a lot to do with adding interactive and exciting AI and AR elements to, uh, to the experience to create um, an entertaining shopping journey. Um, and the good thing about these solutions is they can hopefully solve consumer pain points. So when you think about the products and services that Perfect Core offers, uh, if you're using virtual try-on for shopping, um, you know, it gets rid of a lot of the hygiene issues that come with samplers. It lets people try on the full assortment of products. Um, if it's incorporating AI, it can help them diagnose a problem. Uh, it can help them recommend a problem. So it's really, you know, tapping into all of those consumer pain points of things they want, but doing it in a fun and engaging way. And as consumers shift more and more of their life online, uh, they must adapt to meet these needs and build a relationship with their customers in new ways. So it's understanding that consumer behavior of online that I talked about before. It's um, using omni, an omni-channel approach. So again, putting it through all the different channels. And then it's creating a personalized you know, customer journey. And these online interactions shape the way customers experience and ultimately feel about the brands. So um, for beauty technology and fundamentals for a successful direct-to-consumer strategy, um, we see a couple of steps. Step one, you wanna use this technology to enable more effective direct to consumer approaches. So one, using the technology to understand your customers better and cater to their needs better with beauty tech. And so artificial intelligence really allows you to do this um, as well as you know, the, these personal um, consultations through something like a virtual beauty advisor. And you wanna engage with your customers more effectively and create these digital interactions with beauty tech. The second thing you want to do is reshape the experience from being just something passive to really being active. So what would be a passive example? A traditional direct consumer experience, you know, might be something like just having a static product listing or some kind of text-based consultation. But when you take all the services again with that engagement 360 approach, you move from passive to active. And then you really kind of see this con converging of live stream, AR virtual try-on and purchase into one service. And the great thing about it is that we know that it helps to drive ROI. Um, so we've seen some brands that have had 2.5 times higher conversion rates from virtual try-on, um, that they've seen four times longer time on their site um, due to the incorporation of the technology. Um, they've seen a 300% boost in digital engagement, um, which is really exciting. And it's not only just a digital engagement, people who have promoted uh, these new beauty technologies have actually seen a, a drive and an increase of people uh, to their website by promoting it. And then there's also a 30% increase to add to carts. Now, all of this information um, can be found on the perfectcore.com uh, website in our success story section, where you can see more about the brands and the results that they've gotten to date. So now I'd like to introduce Lindsay Colomeo, and she's going to take us through the interactive content and a couple of uh, case studies that we've had uh, with media outlets. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, so I'm excited to talk a little bit about a little bit today about how brands like Meredith Corp and Allure Magazine from Condé Nast have used beauty tech to kind of elevate their content, both digital and in print, to this totally heightened level, super engaged, just like the shop retainment concept that Adam had been speaking to. Um, so I'm going to dive into this in a little bit a, a little bit more, but just to give you the concept, it would be that users are you know, users and readers are identifying content both in print and online and are being asked to in, in, interact with it in a totally new way. So they're seeing the content and being asked and engaged with to um, experience it in a new way. And that's where the trial concept comes in through virtual try on through your um, mobile device or online. And then you're have the opportunity for a one one click buy. So it creates this completely cohesive and complete experience for the reader. And it really ties the whole concept together in a really um, you know, cohesive 
experience for, for both the reader and the, the brands. So with Meredith, uh, Meredith Corporation, we did a few different uh, things to help them bridge the gap between the print and digital experiences. One was to have interactive ad units that lived on their websites. So you can see an example of that here. And this helped to uh, increase engagement by 300% in relation to their um, traditional ad units. So you see here that the ads are actually engaging with the, the reader, asking them to tap and try on and experience the ad in a totally new way. We also worked with them to make their print content even more interactive and engaging by offering a QR code that let people experience the products and the looks on the pages in this whole new way. So it kind of took the, the print and brought it to life for people to try it on. So that also showed a 50% jump in traffic to the site from people that were reading the print magazines and engaging with those smart codes, showing that that behavior was becoming something that they were really taking to. Before we bring on our special guests, I want to give you a little background on another collaboration we did with Allure magazine, where we brought their November issue, which was a guide to shopping, to life by bringing the looks and the products featured on the pages to interactive um, AR try-ons. So we worked with Allure to bring, I think it was about 50 or so products and a dozen or so looks that were featured from the cover look and within the pages of Allure magazine for people to try on. So you can see in the video here, one of their editors is actually trying on some of the looks virtually. And from our experience, we saw over 6 million product try-ons and over 600,000 look try-ons. So it really proved that people were engaging with this content in a whole new way and really taking to that experience of bringing editorial content to life through this interactive try-on. I'm so excited to introduce Jessica Cruel, the content director at Allure Magazine, to kind of walk us through some of the really cool stuff we did with Allure for bringing this marketing engagement concept to life with a whole new lens through beauty tech. So Jess, thank you for joining us. Um, and I'd love for you to start by just telling us a little bit about the behind the scenes that went into conceptualizing this interactive November issue that we did together. Thank you so much for having me. So. When it came to our November issue, which was gonna be our shopping issue, we were really having a lot of conversations about the beauty industry. You know, COVID had really devastated a lot of our favorite retailers and a lot of our favorite brands. So how do you do a shopping issue when people can't go out to shop? And that was kind of the conundrum that we were shape, you know, that we were trying to figure out. So we came upon UCAM as someone we've definitely covered before. And we saw some of the other projects that you had done and we thought that this would be a great opportunity for us to include some virtual try-on opportunities in the magazine. And of course, already as a part of our issues, we do amazing photo shoots with beautiful makeup looks. And we also kind of do a lot of tips from pros and product recommendations are all just a part of the Allure DNA. So we thought that this UCAM collaboration would be a good way to bring it to life without, you know, and it's safe, right? Without having to send anyone to the store, they're able to really test things. And really it's a way for us to test the future, right? Because COVID is always gonna be something that we think about from now on. And so that whole idea of going into a store and swatching is something that we're not seeing as often. Um, so we thought it'd be good to try it virtually. I love that. And kind of to that note, what was the reader response as they were kind of able to now play and experiment with the content in a whole new way? You know, I will say I was shocked at how many people, you know, really engage with our content on the app. Um, and I think it was interesting just to see my mom's reaction. I, I kind of think of her as the perfect example. <laughs> I was doing um, our Instagram promotion of it. And so I was trying on the cover look and she was like, how are you doing that? I was like, oh, it's like, you know, artificial reality. It's like augmented reality. And, you know, She's like, oh, it's pretty cool. She's like, can I try it? I was like, yeah. And we like literally sat there for about 10 minutes trying on the different looks and the different products. And she just said like, that's so cool. It's so neat. And I think it's something interesting to watch people play with. And clearly from the engagement numbers, our readers really enjoyed um, trying on their products and trying on the look from the magazine through the UCAM app. 100%. Can you, I know we'll show um, a slide with some of the numbers, but can you share a little bit about the metrics 
of what like what the response from a reader engagement standpoint was? Yeah, so on Instagram, we saw a lot of feedback about how cool it was. We did a lot of promotion on Instagram stories and things like that. Um, I will say in a print magazine, it's a little bit hard to gauge metrics because, you know, that's a silent participant. But um, I think all in all, we saw that it was very successful and it's something that we're definitely considering um, trying again. And I know from the UCAM side, I think there were over six 0.5 million product try-ons with throughout the month and like hundreds of thousands of look try-ons for the featured look. So it was clearly something from our side that we were seeing, um, you know, people engage with. And just, again, so cool to see how the print kind of came into the digital lens like that. Um, I think our, our partners were also, you know, our partners being the brands that we work with, um, we're also excited to see as kind of a 3D, 2D way to be engaged in the Allure um, content. Yeah, and to that note, can you speak to how this approach is kind of changing the way that brands are marketing their product to consumers? I know you guys did some um, stuff with Nordstrom's, but just to their approach? Yeah, I think, you know, as I was saying before, with a lot of ways changing the way we do retail, I think e-commerce is kind of leveling up. And a part of that is figuring out um, safe and effective ways for people to try on beauty products from home um, because everything is being ordered online, you know, and ordering a lipstick online is a little bit hard, you know, how do you know the shade is right? How do you know it's gonna look right on your skin tone? Um, so technology like this really helps for people to try things on. And, you know, our partner Nordstrom was really excited about the opportunity to have, you know, users try on products that are available at Nordstrom and then allow them to shop those products right there through the app. And what was your, um, I guess, perspective on integrating directly into like the UCAM app? So kind of leveraging this additional social platform for the experience to live in versus, you know, on your website or on other outlets, but to have it live in this already interactive digital environment. Well, you know, for me, I think it was it's interesting because we always talk about Allure as a means for inspiration. Like we like to inspire our reader, but also the pros that we work with. And so one of my favorite activations that we did was being able to recreate the cover look and the looks from the cover shoot and a face charts that some of our favorite pros, like Sir John, who does Beyonce's makeup, like they created looks that literally our readers could try on at home. And it doesn't get better than that. Having like Beyonce's makeup artists do makeup on you sort of right. kind. <laughs> um, so I think I was really excited about that interactive. And I think anything that brings us off the page, you know, off the swiping and the scrolling is, is really a benefit. Um, and that kind of interaction is something that I think will continue to grow within the publication space. Yeah, do you see, um, in looking into the future, where do you see, I should say, the interactive content headed, especially for Allure? Yeah, I think it's going to be a major part of, you know, speaking to retail. I think it's going to be an important part of retail. It already is. You know, you can walk into any, a lot of retailers and try on products at kiosks and with iPads. That's just become a really important part of the shopping process. And I think us being, you know, the expert in beauty, that's something that we're also considering for ourselves, you know, as partners to brands, as partners to retailers, and, you know, as partners to our readers, we want to make it as easy for them to find products that they love as, as possible. It's something we do with our Lore Beauty Box. We send samples every month and products every month that we love. We have our Best of Beauty Awards. We tag products that we love. You know, we're all about making that shopping experience easier. And so if this, you know, interactive augmented reality is an option for us to include, then that's something that we have to consider and look into. Well, we look forward to working together again to make some interactive content jump off the page because it was such a pleasure doing it this first time around. So, so much fun. we're so really fun. excited to see what's to come. So thank you so much, Jess. This was awesome. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you so much, Jessica and Lindsay. Um, and thank you everybody for joining today's education series, Driving Consumer Engagement. I think we really learned a lot about how beauty tech is creating a marketing advantage and how the integration of these technologies into the customer journey really is creating engaging experiences and really leaning into this concept of shoppertainment. So until next time, thank you all for joining.